In this video, we're going to be installing a Tusk Sub-Zero plow mount onto a Yamaha Viking. Once you've completed the install of your plow mount, refer to our Tusk Sub-Zero snowplow assembly and installation video for instructions on assembling and attaching your plow blade. You can see that we've got our machine up on some ramps and that's to better show the installation process. It's not necessary to raise your machine for the install, but if you decide to, make sure you safely support it to prevent causing any injuries or damage to yourself or the machine. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure all your hardware and pieces are accounted for. You'll find a complete list of hardware located on your provided set of instructions. So the first step of the install is to remove the lower front skid plate. And we're using a 10 millimeter T-handle to remove the four bolts that hold that in place. And once we've got that out of the way, we can move on to installing the clamps. The first clamp that we need to install is the plate clamp, and looking at the plate clamp, you'll notice the two mounting holes are offset to one side. The side that's shorter needs to be facing towards the front of the machine. Doing this will center the mounting holes in the plate clamp inside the holes in the frame. Next, we can install the two provided square clamps onto the frame rails of the machine. Once we have both those clamps into place, we can move up and install the two remaining U-clamps onto the lower bars of the front bumper. And now we're ready to attach the plow mount. So we'll go ahead and position the plow mount plate up into place. And using one of the provided M8 by 25 millimeter bolts, we'll slide that through a flat washer, through the plow mount plate, and we'll thread it loosely up into one of the mounting holes in the plate clamp. After that first bolt's in place, we'll do the same thing for the other center mounting point. And then we can move back and use four more of the provided M8 by 25 millimeter bolts and washers to attach the rear section of the plow mount using the two rear square clamps that we previously installed. After those have been loosely attached, we can move up and use the remaining bolts and washers to attach the front section of the plow mount to the U-clamps on the front bumper. And now that all the hardware is loosely installed, we can now tighten everything down. You want to start by pushing the plow mount up and rearward and then snug down those front mounts. As you tighten down each of the clamps, make sure that you alternate sides to keep the clamps parallel to the plow mount. Now we'll just go ahead and snug down the rest of the hardware and then we'll go back through and tighten them down the rest of the way. Once you have everything tight, you're finished with the install. You can now refer to our Tusk Sub-Zero snowplow assembly and installation video to finish attaching your snowplow system. Also make sure to visit our website www.rockymountainatvmc.com for your snowplow accessories and all the other parts and apparel that you need to be ready for winter. Thanks for watching.